How much does a loft conversion cost? When space is at a premium in your home, sometimes the answer is right above your head in the loft. If you're wondering about how much a loft conversion costs, there are a lot of different factors to bear in mind. The style of the conversion, the size of your property, and the quality of the build and its finish. If you want a specific quote for your loft conversion project, don't hesitate to post your job for free on mybuilder.com. You'll be put in touch with local tradespeople who can give you accurate quotes for your planned job. To break down loft conversion prices generally, a key consideration will be what kind of conversion you'll be doing. There are four basic kinds of loft conversion, room and loft, dormer, hip to gable, and mansard. At its most basic, a room and loft conversion, which involves adding stairs and installing VLUX style windows, will average out at around between 15,000 and 20,000 pounds. This can be done to most loft spaces if the roof line is high enough. A dormer loft conversion involves building out sections of the roof with protruding windows, making it a good choice for terraced houses. These common conversions will typically start at 31,000 pounds, rising to around 58,000 pounds. Hip to gable conversions are where the sloped end on an end of terrace, semi-detached or detached home, is built out to make it vertical. It involves more structural work and will cost in the region of 42 to 64,000 pounds. Mansard loft conversions involve adding a flat roof and altering the angle of the roof either side, and it will cost the most, beginning at £45,000 and rising to around £70,000. All of these figures are rough benchmarks and can cost more or less depending on your circumstances. For example, projects in London tend to cost more than other parts of the country, while adding a bathroom will significantly raise the cost of the overall project. For specific costs, there are a few things to factor in. Drawing up plans with an architect or architectural technician will cost around £1,000. Applying for planning permission if needed will cost just over £200, while having building regulation inspections carried out will cost between £400 and £800. If you believe your loft is a home to bats, you might have to spend around £400 on a bat survey. Extra costs can be incurred if your roof has trusses instead of a timber frame, which might need extra reinforcement, while changing a slate roof is typically more expensive than one with concrete tiles. If you're installing a bathroom in your new space, you can expect to pay several thousand pounds for the new suite and installation. You can keep costs down by ensuring the plumbing works as well as possible with your current plumbing. For example, making sure the soil stack is in the same location. While you can try and save cash by project managing the work yourself, ultimately the best way to get value for money is employing quality tradespeople who do a great job executing the plans. For a more detailed breakdown of loft conversion costs, read our full guide on mybuilder.com.